There's this story which even I find kind of crazy. Your daughter's hiding knives under the bed? Yes, that happened one time, yes. What kind of knife? Bayonet? What? I what believe was it was there? a butter knife. A butter knife. Correctly. Oh, my God. <laughs> but she, she kind of implied on the tape that it was to protect yourself, protect yeah. yourself. And that's never been said by my daughter to me. As far as I know, it's never been said to Stacy. Do you think your uh, ex-wife is making this up? Yes, I do 100% believe she's making it up. I know she's making it up because I've never done anything to my kids. All right, well, uh, we're going to meet her now. Uh, here's your ex-wife, I don't see why I you're telling everybody you're lying. Kids. I'm not lying. Yes, I ain't never are. done anything to my kids and never would do anything to my kids. Then and you why know is that. our oldest daughter telling me that you taught I her have no these idea. certain acts? I have no idea why she has. She's been known to lie. She has kept a consistent story. Well, it's a lie. I have never touched my daughter. I have never touched any kids. Do You have two daughters with yes. them, right? And you believe that he had uh, sexual contact with these children? either sexual contact or he's taught them some sexual acts. I'm not sure if they've seen him do it or... Well, when you talk to your daughters, what did they say? They said that their dad has taught them these certain acts. To perform on each other? Yes. And you believe he did that? I do, because they have kept a consistent story the oh, whole you're time. Saying Were them. they ever interviewed by a, a doctor or a forensic expert yeah, they, with child molestation? Yes. And what was their uh, um, opinion? They didn't find anything just because the kids would not open up about it. Like, any time you try to talk to them about it, they just shut down. They won't say anything. So there was no uh, evidence where you would call the police or...? No, there wasn't. So there's no investigation to him whatsoever? No, there was a couple of months ago, and that's when they went ahead and did the forensic investigation and interviews. And, and they decided they couldn't find yeah. anything. And how long have you been divorced now? A Almost year. two years. A little years. over a year. Almost two years. And do you have other men in your life since those <clears throat> past two years? Not really. I have a couple of friends that are men. Right. But, I mean, you're not, haven't been romantically involved with nobody for two years? No, I have been. Right. So I'm saying there's other men around these little girls? Yes. Right. Any chance that they confuse their dad for somebody else? No. 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 What do you hope? Randy. Took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you ever have any type of sexual physical contact with any of your three daughters, year two, year one? He answered no. Did you ever teach your oldest daughter to perform any sex acts? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Randy told the truth. Told the truth. Sorry. Now we can put all this. I'm ready to put it to rest. rest. You can start seeing your babies again. Yeah. What's what's going through you, Randy? It's happening. To finally get this out there. I knew I didn't do it. I knew for that's why when I was asked to come on this show, I was 100% yes, because I'm willing, I was ready to get it out there and I'm tired of putting all this accusations behind me, because I'm tired of it. I've, I've never done anything like that. My kids are my life. I um, mean, you haven't been able to see any of your three daughters in the last three months. Not physically, no, not in person. Now that he's passed, will he be able to see the girls? Yes. Um, and the one thing I would say, with your girls, you know, the kids sometimes do crazy stuff, but the fact that they're doing what you described, I, I would think that's very unnatural. Yes, very unnatural. So you might want to dig into what's going on a little further. Yeah. Because we know it's not him. And who else? It could be somebody else. Yeah. So 
you need to get somebody who really knows what they're doing, get somebody in there, talk to these girls, make sure they open up because if something's happening, it could be ongoing and you want to put a stop to it. Yeah, um, Randy, uh, you know, I was a Marine myself. Uh, I can't, you know, thank you enough. You're going into, a, you know, hostile uh, Afghanistan. You come home and it's unfortunate that some of our servicemen uh, experience homelessness, uh, all kind of, uh, you know, post-traumatic syndrome, uh, all kind of things. And then to be put through this, which, you know, just adds to a mile of problems on your plate. Uh, I hope this helps you uh, a little bit, the very least, so you can go on with your life and uh, hopefully have a very healthy relationship with your daughters. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>